Yo, what's good, family? It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing Man. I'm back again with one more before we get started with this Lubin and Charlo and uh, Laura and Trout Heard and all this good stuff that's going on, man. But uh, shout out to the LDBC. Uh, this is the the George Grove versus Jamie Cox Pro Fight Review. And, uh, man, I got to start by saying this, too. You know, the World Boxing Super Series been, it's getting lit, man. It's getting down to the nitty gritty. You know, there's it's been some good fights, man. Like, it's been some good fights. So if you ain't been, you know, up on this uh, World Boxing Super Series, then you, you sleep. But George, George Groves and Jamie Cox, man, you talking about a brutal war, a four round war. Like, psh. You know, I understand the hype going on with Charlo and all them, man. But if you ain't covering this fight right now, man, you sleep. If you didn't watch, I'm, I ain't gonna say cover. If you didn't watch the fight, you sleep. But anyway, man, uh, it was a good fight, man. I liked it. It was entertaining as long as it lasts. Like I said, the four rounds. Jamie Cox definitely was in there, you know, bringing the fight to uh, to to George Groves. Um, the first half of the first round kind of, you know, it was filling each other out. Jamie Cox seemed like he was a little reluctant, you know, about uh, George Groves' power. So, but once he got hit, he warmed up and he started coming at George Groves and they just started dropping bombs left and right. I mean, dropping bombs. Jamie Cox ain't moving his head. He over there getting tagged with right hands and everything else. George Groves throwing. George Groves getting hit with left, straight lefts and everything else. Cox was throwing. George Groves had the, you know, the better of the defense. But Cox, you know, he just, you know, he, he wasn't getting hit with every. He was getting hit with a lot, but he wasn't getting hit with everything. He was getting hit with some flush shots. And, uh, you know, I, I, I knew it was just a matter of time before somebody was going to get knocked out. There, there ain't no way that that fight was going a distance, not the bombs they was throwing in. They wasn't grazing each other. They was hitting flush flush shots. Uh, but the thing is, man, uh, fucking Jamie Cox, man, it was like the third round. Like, he, they was against the ropes. He let, uh, he let George Groves sit there and hit him with about uh, four right hands, you know, in the clinch. I'm like, what the fuck is this idiot doing? Like, he ain't, he ain't making pay or nothing. He just, you know, took him and smiled. Even though, you know, I thought that kind of took a little damage on him. But that, but that didn't do the deal. The thing that did the deal is that George Groves dropped. Uh, he dropped uh, fucking um, Jamie Cox with a with a nice little body shot. You know, uh, at first when I first seen him, I'm like, damn, he caught him with a with a right hook, and down looks again, when they showed the replay, you know, Jamie Cox was going down, excuse me, he going down, and right as the right hook grazed him, I'm like, damn, he got hit with, he got dropped with the body shot. And, uh, you know, when he got dropped with the body shot, the ref get to about eight, you know, he was, Jamie Cox was paralyzed, he couldn't get up, man, it was a wrap. So, you know, that sealed the deal on that. George Groves, you know, cruise off to... He didn't cruise off. He rides off to a victory. Because there wasn't no cruising to that. That was... He, he worked for that. That, that. that four rounds he fought, he worked for that. You know, you see he marked up, you know, down the eye, down the cut, up under his right eye, you know, and all that good stuff. So, um, I don't know, man, but... We seen Chris Eubank. He was he was there, and uh, you know he. I, I didn't get a chance to see the press and all that because I'm so behind on. There's so much stuff I, I ain't even make my. Well, I did a prediction on Blood's channel when we collab yesterday, but I didn't you know make the time to do my own prediction video with Charlo and Lubin and all that. But I'm try. I might try to squeeze it in right now before the fight come on. Maybe yeah. I don't know, but uh. Yeah, man. 
but it was a damn so good fight, man. Damn so good fight. You know, uh, I wish it could have went a little longer, but it didn't. You know, it's just the thirsty boxing head in me. But y'all guys, let me know what y'all thought about this uh, fight. I thought it was a good fight. You know, can't wait to see Groves and Eubank. You know, uh, that's going to be a real good fight. But I still got Eubank winning that fight. But uh, Groves, he was looking okay. He was looking okay. You know, you got to be... See, the thing about with with, with Cox, where he was fucking up the, the most... Is when he had when he he was being too overly aggressive, and in in the in the times he was overly aggressive when when uh Groves was against the ropes, he he would sit there and admire his work. He would like he wouldn't change his angles up. He wouldn't you know get out of the range and come back, change his angles up. He would just stay in range and just just keep you know letting loose combinations, dropping bombs. It was like. You know, and, and uh, George Groves knew that he wasn't getting out of range. He was still in hidden fire range, so he would fire shots here and, there and just keep catching him. You know, and uh, I knew it was a matter of time before somebody get knocked out. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this fight, man. It was a good fight. If not, you know, catch the fight, man. Catch that fight. It was a good fight. But I'm gone.